jealousy, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, my brothers and sisters, I apologize for not posting Mass over the past week. I've been doing a lot of funerals, and so it's been hard recording my Mass um, each day. So that's why they haven't been posted. But know that you've all been in my prayers each day um, as I as I preside at Mass. So as we prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred liturgy of the Eucharist, let us open our hearts to the love and mercy that God is willing to give us. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for all your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And today, our Mass setting is going to be for the Church. So as we come to this, the end of the month of July, um, we ask you to continuously pray for St. Mary's Parish, for our Church, as we have re been restoring her to the beautiful um, parish and church that she is. And uh, hopefully we'll be opening in the middle of August. Uh, we have a few more things that have to be done. So keep that in mind. Uh, as you know, you saw on Facebook our pews. The pews are all in. They're absolutely gorgeous. So let us bring all of our prayers together. Again. Oh God, who in each pilgrim church throughout the world make visible the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, <clears throat> graciously grant that your faithful may be so united by their shepherd and gathered together in the Holy Spirit through the Gospel and the Eucharist, as to worthy embody the universality of your people, and become a sign and instrument in the world of the presence of Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophets, Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in a, wood, in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed, feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you be ever angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and, show not, and shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Alleluia. Hallelujah. 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 Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to our Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking it to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told them, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this very short Gospel reading, these four stanzas, Jesus reminds us that we are all brothers and sisters under God. God created all of us. And so that reminds us that my brothers and sisters, that we are all brothers and sisters. And so we need to remind ourselves that Jesus is in every one of us, so that we need to be kinder, nicer to each other. Today we are reminded of God's ultimate forgiveness and of his love, and that if we do the will of God, he recognizes us. So as we go throughout this day, let us be mindful that God sees and hears everything, and that we should all be striving for holiness, to be more holy in the eyes of God and holy in the eyes of each other. And we can do that when we recognize that we are all brothers and sisters under one God. We come together in faith and love to place before God our prayers and petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Bishop, Edward Scharfenberger, and for our pastor, Father Babacqua, may the Lord look graciously upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For President Trump and Governor Cuomo, as well as for all elected officials, may God's compassion and justice guide them in serving those they represent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who find themselves unemployed, may the Lord help them find work to support their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here online and for our friends and loved ones, may the Lord keep us steadfast in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the souls of all the faithful departed, for those who have died this day, for those who will die this day, and for those who have nobody to pray for them. But we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of James Reagan, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray that through the mercy of God, their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed may rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray in thanksgiving to all the workers who have been putting in endless time into our beautiful parish, restoring our church uh, for the success of our restoration project, for a continued success for our fundraising campaign, for all of our benefactors, so that we can worship one once again in our beautiful church and uh, our new chapel here at St. Mary's. So we pray in Thanksgiving for our successful campaign we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, hear and answer the prayers we offer through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. 
Pray the mind and work of your hands and will become for us our spiritual dream. Trust in God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all of his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of your son's boundless love, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through the mystery of your church, the fruits of his saving work, may advance the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your ch children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, so that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made by the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to praise your manifested wisdom and manifest the church. And so, in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, and the earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, and holy therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Lawrence, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my room. My room. But only but say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Healed. Let us make our spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gave food to those who fear him. In the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our families, and the protection against Satan and evil in our state and nation. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God renew whom we humbly pray, and to do thou the prince of the heavenly hosts. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking your souls. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Let us pray. In this your church, O Lord, may integrity of faith, holiness of life, fraternal charity, and pure religion flourish and abide until the end. And as you do not fail to feed her with the body of your Son and with your word, so also never cease, we pray, to guide her under your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.